Whew. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Now, I know I told you last week I had a fishing video coming. Here it is. It's a little later than I expected. Uh, about the day after I put up that last video, my computer decided to crash and uh, luckily I've got a wife who knows what she's doing with computers so she got it all fixed up for me. But I got a little trout fishing coming for you guys here soon and got something uh, didn't expect to happen. Those of y'all that follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that, you already know what's going to happen at the end of this video. Um, but it's, uh, it was not fun, it was cold, and I got a little soggy, but you'll have to stay tuned to see exactly what happens, but I can tell you it's, uh, it was a flipping good time if you catch my drift. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump right back into it. Uh, I'm not going to spend much time on this intro. If you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, guided beach fishing trip, renting a kayak, or here in about a month and a half taking a boat trip, be sure to uh, shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com or you can check out the Fishing Chaos app. Fishing Chaos is a great way to see all my available dates, rates, everything. It's a, it's a great little thing. They got a great little app too. Y'all need to check it out if you haven't already. But we're going to go ahead and hop into this video and get straight into it. So y'all stick with it. the storm so it's gonna kind of bunch them up a little bit did hear a pretty solid blow up as I was coming to so throw the old pink and gold one knocker around <clears throat> Let's see if we can't find us anything I don't want to find wind knots. I just found a decent school of bait here. <clears throat> Seeing some activity. Some fish coming up slapping the surface. I feel like a strike. Decent fish. What do we got here? <laughs> I hooked a mullet. Right at the boat. Oh, that little fella. He's all tangled up in that line. Calm down. He's a little bit bigger than that last one, but he is still not going to make it. Alright, 
got a lot of bait up here. I have caught a lot of fish here in the past. Let's see if there's anything good hanging out. Hoping to find some fish to take home for dinner tonight. Lots of finger mullets flipping around in here. Still not quite as big as I thought he was. It might be 15 though. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see what this guy's gonna go. He's gonna be real close. Uh, 14 and three quarters. fired up. Got the old cold night slick on. A good little finger mullet imitation. So we'll see if we can. It's a lot bigger bait than what I was throwing too, so Maybe that'll be the difference maker in getting some of these bigger fish. There. That's a little bigger fish there. a little smaller than I want, but they're eating it. That's what we're looking for.
Let's see what we got on this one. 16. All right, that's another one for the stringer. That might be that red fish I was looking for. This is about to get interesting. Big old red fish. All right, well, as you can see, I had a cold end to my fishing trip. Um, luckily, luckily it was, uh, to be the worst case scenario, it was the best case scenario, because it was in shallow water. We had a warming water trend that uh, last week, so I think the water when it flipped was like 64 degrees. So it was cold, but it wasn't freezing cold. And um, shallow enough that I was able to find all my gear, all my rods, everything. One of the very, very few days I didn't bring the entire tackle box with me. I, I decided I you know, only needed one, one box of lures, one backpack of baits. Um, had my phone in my dry bag for once, wasn't laying out on my deck as you can see how it was earlier in the video. I mean, it was just, just got very, very lucky. But it was not fun, it was not enjoyable. Uh, that was the first time I have ever flipped my PA on my doing. Um, I've had some close calls where I've fallen out before the kayaks flipped. And the only other, other time that kayak has flipped on me, it was caused by a uh, shipping container ship wake, or a shipping ship wake. Uh, and, that, and that, I mean, it was a 300 foot ship that flipped me. So that one wasn't my fault. This one was completely my fault, but I got my rod back. Uh, did not land the fish. It round up when I flipped. Fish cut back and uh, line got tangled up around my ankle and wound up popping the leader, which I hate I lost the fish, but it was good because if it had kept going the way it was going, I wouldn't have got my rod back. Uh, so, got, glad I got that back. Got all my other rods. Got everything. I don't think, I, I may have lost one pair of pliers, but I think I lost those the trip before. So, I'm not 100% not sure, but it was uh, it was good, good. And the depth finder's still working. Everything's working good. So, very lucky considering the circumstances. But, just goes to show you, uh, you can flip any kayak. That's why you always got to be careful, even in a pro angler. You know, I've always talked about I'm able to get lazy in that one, and it caught up with me. So I, I have been been careful since since then. Um, but 
Appreciate you guys watching today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit me, give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Let me know you enjoyed this video. Let me know that you're glad that I'm back making fishing videos. Um, like I said, not necessarily every video I do in the future is going to be one of these kind of videos. Going to start doing some shorts, you know, just short clips of me catching fish, um, you know, unboxings, how to stuff like that. So. You get, you get one of these videos, uh, and we'll have some more in the future, but like I said, there's going to be some changes to the channel coming. So, But I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, renting a kayak, guided surf fishing trip, anything like I mentioned before, shoot me an email, check out Fishing Chaos. I'll drop all the links below, and uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. Appreciate you guys tuning in. It's good to be back. Good to be back in front of the camera making videos. So. We got some more coming. Got an offshore fishing video coming by the end of the week, so y'all be looking for that. And yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for today. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you in the next one.